Hi, this is our show Pet Net TV for pet owners, but your pets can watch too. This is me, Dr. Stephen, and I love pets. Actually, I love pets so much I became a vet. Hi, my name's Dr. Stephen and welcome to Pet Net TV. It seems these days we're busier than ever. We work longer hours, there's more traffic, we even work the weekends. In addition to this, we also seem to live in high density living. So, where do pets fit in our busy modern lifestyle? In this episode, we're going to share with you a little secret. We think we've found the ideal pet for the 21st century lifestyle, and the result will probably surprise you. Research from the Pet Care Information and Advisory Service tells us most people own pets for companionship. The research also tells us that over 90% of people feel very, very close to their pets. Now we think there's five essential things that make the ideal pet for a busy household. These are as follows. Low maintenance, does not need someone at home all day, is okay spending a lot of time indoors, is clean and quiet, is friendly, fun and affectionate. And the winner is, the cat. Why do cats make ideal pets? I, I think they are uh, the ideal modern modern day pet. Uh, they are uh, they're small, they are easily contained in uh, indoor environments, great in apartments, cats are low maintenance. Now we're going to take you into the homes of some cat owners with the help of our professional cat breeder. I'm a Berman breeder, this breed. Been breeding for about the last 10 years, retired lady and having my cats as a hobby. For people that have got um, not much time, they're pretty able to take care of themselves during the day if you leave them equipped with whatever they need and they're not likely to disturb the neighbours. Other birds are quite happy to sleep all day and just greet you when you come home. It's more to do with the quality of the time that you give them. I work in the city, um, so it's about two k's away. It's great because it means I can walk into work um, quite a bit. It's just, yeah, a really good good spot to be living and um, and a great environment to have cats in. I reckon they're really low maintenance. I mean, I think a cat doesn't need um, a lot of attention. It's quite happy to keep itself occupied. He gets fed twice a day, morning and night. He gets water. Uh, aside from that, really just a bit of TLC. I think it's pretty easy to look after a cat. His name is called Herbie. I like having a cat because he's got a lot of love to give, I think. And I can tell that he, he really does sincerely adore me, I think, cuddles. Although... <laughs> He's quite active as well, which is kind of entertaining. Kittens are very, very super playful. Some cats, given the choice, will spend most of the day inside anyway. I've been a vet now for 10 years, of which I've spent nine in feline practice. We decided that Melbourne was the place to come and set up a, a similar cat-only practice. Uh, I don't think cats need to go outside at all to enjoy a great quality life. And we always discuss that with our, with our clients, uh, the virtues of indoor versus outdoor cats. Cats are just uh, a lower maintenance, great company um, companion these days. Mm. And uh, our four cats provide us fantastic company and child surrogates. <laughs> I think value, value for dollars and bang for bucks, I think cats are always going to win out over dogs. They're smarter, they're, uh, they're, they're easy to care for, lower maintenance, and you don't have to pick up after them, don't have to walk them, don't have to go out in cold rainy water at winter days. So I couldn't recommend a cat highly enough. And to be accepted by your cat, like really accepted as the, the centre of its life, because you really live with a cat. You, you don't own a cat, you live with it. As we've just seen, cats make a versatile and loving pet. Some might call it the ideal modern companion. <laughs>